hello and welcome to my youtube channel so i am here again with another lesson and in today's lesson i shall explain one poem the name of the poem is a photograph in this lesson i shall explain the complete summary and detailed explanation of the poem along with meaning of certain difficult words also the explanation is followed by a summary of the poem and literary devices used in this poem so if you are listening for the first time so please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get the notification whenever i upload a new video so let's know about the author charlotte wilson has been writing books on the social history of the countryside since 1974 she is a leading authority on ancient tracts and drove roads and is the author of the drovers the roads of wales and the drovers roads of south wales she born on 20th may 1924 hanley on thames united kingdom the poem a photograph is written by shirley tulshan in this poem she recalls her mother and her memories while looking at a childhood photograph when her mother was 12 years old or so she has been deceased 12 years ago and she cannot explain her grief on her mother's loss now let's give a quick glance on a short summary of this poem the poem is a tribute to the poet's mother she is looking at an old photograph of her mother which has a frame of cardboard the picture has three girls in which the middle one is the oldest and tallest it is her mother when she was 12 years or so 12 years old or so beside her on both side are her two cousins they are bitty and dolly who are holding her hands and a younger than her they went for paddling on a beach holiday her uncle took the photograph then the poet could not help but notice her mother's sweet face the sea holiday was her past the poet could not help but notice her mother's sweet face the sea touched her terribly transient feet which depicted that she changed over the years and the sea remained the same after 20 30 years her mother would laugh at the photograph she would make the poet looked at the photograph and tell her how their parents would dress them up for the beach holiday the beach holiday was a mother's favorite past memories while her love was the poet's favorite memory both of them lost something which they cherished a lot and yet cannot leave that moment again those sweet memories those sweet moments were memories now now the poet's mother had been dead for the past 12 years which is the same number as of her age when the photograph was taken back then she cannot express the grief that she has for her mother's absence let's discuss the poem line by line or stanza by stanza The cardboard shows me how it was when the two girl cousins went paddling each one holding one of my mother's hands and she the big girl some 12 years or so in this lines the poet is looking at an old photo album the cardboard which is denote the photograph so The poet is looking at an old photo album which is made up of cardboard. In the picture there are three girls who are walking on the beach holding each other's hand.
द गर्ल इन द मिडिल इज द टॉलेस्ट एंड ओल्डेस्ट द अदर टू गर्ल्स ऑन द ईच साइड अ योंगर देन हर द गर्ल इन द मिडिल इज द पॉइट्स मादर शी इज अराउंड ट्वेल्व ईयर्स ओल्ड वेन द पिक्चर वॉज टेकन All three stood still to smile through their hair at the uncle with the camera a sweet face my mother's that was before i was born and the sea which appears to have changed less was their terribly transient fit in the ever blinds the poet describes how the photograph was taken her mother's uncle took the photograph and told them to stop and pose all three of them left their wet hair open and smiled at that camera the poet's attention is drawn towards her mother's face which is described as a sweet face the photograph was taken long before the poet was born the poet calls their feet terribly transient so transient meaning a short term or temporary so the poet calls their feet terribly transient as they were so young by then and now they had grown older on the other hand the sea which touched their feet has changed less that's why the poet called transient feet so the feet of those three girls those feet are transient because at that time when the photograph the photo was taken at that time they were so young and now they grown older but that sea that beach where they took that photograph it's remain same after so many years that sea or the beach remain same but their feet changed from young to older that's why human lives are tra- transient they're temporary some 20 30 years later she would laugh at the snapshot see bt and dolly she would say and look how they dressed us for the beach the sea holiday so after 20 or 30 years later she would laugh at the photograph she would tell me tell me means that poet she would tell that the poet shirley tulshan to look at her cousins so their the, the name of their cousins are bt and dolly see bt and dolly and how their parents would dress all three of them for the beach they would have planned to take a photograph beforehand so snapshot means here photograph the sea holiday was her past mine is her laughter both weary with the labored ease of loss weary w r y weary means mocking ironic the poet recalls the sea holiday was her mother's favorite moment from the past while the poet's favorite moment from the past was her mother's laughter both the woman means the poet and her mother would think about those past memories which they cannot live again they tried their best to adjust to what they lost so here the labored is of loss so the phrase labored is of loss is an oxymoron oxymoron is a literary device so the poet used one literary device here it is called oxymoron so oxymoron which refers to the acceptance of loss and living with it in the poem poet's mother has lost her youth and has learned to live by bearing it on the other hand the poet loses her mother and has learned to live with it so this phrase the labored is of loss this phrase is called oxymoron so it's a literary device now she has been dead nearly as many years 
as that girl lived and of this circumstance there is nothing to say at all it silence silences in the above lines the poet says that her mother died 12 years ago the same age her mother was in the photograph whenever the poet thinks of her mother's death she cannot explain what effects she has of her mother's death death has silenced her mother which has also left her speechless so in the two last two lines there is nothing to say at all it silence silences so here is the end of this uh, explanations of the of this poem photograph now we will discuss uh, the rhyming schemes of the poem and the literary device what are the literary device uh, used in this poem so in this poem there are two literary devices used first one is alliteration alliteration is what repetitions of a consonant sound at the beginning of two or more consecutive words the instance of alliterations in the poem are as follows you can see in the second stanza stood still so as as stood s t w o d stood as and again still s t i w l still so you can see two consonant s and as again uh, they have used consecutive words throw there t h r o u g h throw t and there t h e i r my mother terribly transient silence silences so these are the alliterations alliterations is a literary device second uh, poetic device used in this poem i already told you oxymoron oxymoron a term which contradicts itself so uh, this the phrase the levered ease of loss so it's an eg example of oxymoron so it is also one literary device these are the two literary device used in this poem and this poem doesn't have any rhyming scheme the poem photograph is written in a free verse so it does not have any rhyming scheme so thank you all for listening me and giving your precious time i hope uh, this explanation will help you for your preparing your lesson and uh, if you find anything uh, difficult if you have any doubts you can ask your questions in my comment sections you can post your questions in my comment sections thank you so if you like my videos and my lessons and if it helps you in any way please do not forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon and please like comments and share thank you